Hi again, we're gonna be going over some more EOC review. This video is also gonna be covering circles. And this video is gonna get heavy into circles, segment lengths and angles within circles. There's gonna be a lot of formulas, a lot of relationships. Uh, this is the standard in the math three that it addresses. Um, you can see these formulas here. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's a lot to go on and I don't think all of them are gonna be on the EOC. But um, if I had to bet my money on uh, kind of what would be the most important ones on the EOC, it'd probably be this one right here and just the one dealing with inscribed angles. So I see these kind of questions come up on review questions a lot. So this is going to be A times B equals C times D. Um, that's two intersecting chords. These are chords. But then over here, um, this is an inscribed angle. Inscribed angles is always going to be half of the arc that it intercepts. So if you see this arc over here, AC is the arc. The inscribed angle is going to be one half that or the arc divided by two. Um, that's where you see that one half over there. Um, other formulas that are over here that we'll cover when we do have problems on here, but I'm not going to sit here and explain them all. So you can look at them, write them down if you need to. Make a little uh, set of flashcards if that helps. Let's get going. All right, part two, number one. Um, in the circle below, chords AC and B, BD intersect at point E. If And how you read that is the measure of arc AB is 42 degrees. So arc is 42 degrees. DC is 162. The question wants to know, what is the measure of angle DEC? So I start with D, and I go to E, and I go over to C, and I want to know, what is that angle? And that angle is not in the center, so we simply take the average of these two numbers. So we average this arc and that arc. We can average two numbers by adding them together and divided by two. So the measure of angle DEC is simply going to be 42 plus 162. I'm going to add those numbers together first, and then take that result and divide by 2. And that'll be what that degree measure is. So 42 plus 162, that's going to be 204. Always double check your work in a calculator. Um, 204 divided by 2 is going to be 102. So that's going to be 102 degrees for that angle. That's all you got to do on that question. All right, let's go to the next one. Part two, number two. In the circle below, two rays are that are tangents. Tangent means that it touches the circle. It doesn't go through it or um, on the other side of it. They're tangent at point A and B on the circle. They meet at an exterior point D. If the measure of the major, and we meant major arc here, is 246 degrees, and the measure of angle A, D, B is 66 degrees. What is the measure of minor arc, A, B? All right, so first thing is we are going to know this relationship. Um, this, ink, this arc, 246, minus this arc, which we'll call X, the difference of that divided by 2 will always equal the exterior angle. So I can actually set up my equation like this. Um, from there, I can multiply that 2 up here. So 2 times 66, and that's going to give me 132. Um, from there, I can solve for x by... Um, See, so add the x over here. So 132 plus x equals 246. And then I can subtract 132 from both sides. And x is going to be 246 minus 132. So that's going to be 114, 114 degrees. Now, I want to show you something else on that one. Um, you'll notice in this problem, it doesn't always work out like this, but these two arcs form the entire circle. And we should know that all arcs in a circle add to 360. So if I do 246 and I add the 114 degrees, 
um, that should give you 360. Um, 46 plus 14 is 60. So uh, so that double checks there. Um, so that actually is another way to get that, but uh, that's not always going to be the case. So you want to make sure that you know this formula too. All right, uh, next question. All right, a circle is shown. We have TS is 13.1, it's mar already marked on here. Uh, SQ is 5.8, that's gonna be over here. And we also have PS is eight, and we wanna know what is SR. So notice that I have the two blue ones, those are actually gonna get multiplied together. So we'll just say eight X, those get multiplied. And then the other two will get multiplied together as well. So equals 13.1, times 5.8. That relationship will always be true with intersecting chords in a circle. Now I'll need my calculator for this because I'm not about to do that in my head. So let's see what that gives us. All right, I'm going to get 75.98. Um, from there, I can just divide that eight out to solve for X and I'll get 9.4975. So x is 9.4975, or you could round to about 9.5 if you'd like to. And that's all this question wants to know. Um, x is the what the question is asking for, because I believe the question is asking for sr, and sr is x in this case. All right, next question. In the diagram below, ab is x minus 3, bc is 10, ed is x plus 3.5, and cd is 8. What is the value of x? Um, in this question, number four, uh, you have to know the formula. What we do is we do outer times whole. So this is going to be the outer. And then we set that equal to the other side's outer times whole. So if I have an outer over here, and then the whole thing is going to be what those add to. How this looks in the formula is the following. Um, we're going to say uh, 10 times 10 plus x minus 3. So we just add these together inside the parentheses. And then we set that equal to uh, our order here is going to be 8 parentheses 8 plus x plus 3.5. So what we're doing is we're, we're kind of repeating this number here, there. Uh, I would advise against distributing it until you've completed inside the parentheses first. So this is going to be 10 times 10 plus 3, or 10 minus 3, so um, x plus 7. And that's going to be equal to 8 times parentheses. 8 plus 3.5 is 11.5, so x plus 11.5. And now we can distribute and solve for x. So that's going to be um, a 10x plus 70 equals 8x plus, uh, looks like 8 times 11.5 is 92. And so now I can get all the x's to one side and solve. So I'm going to subtract 8x. And that's going to give me 2x on the left side. That's going to be 92 over here. Those cancel out. And then subtract the 70 from the 92. And you'll have the x is isolated. And that's going to be 22. So 2x is equal to 22. And finally, we can divide both sides by 2. And x is going to be 22 divided by 2, which is 11. So we have our answer. The question wanted to know what's the value of x. x is going to be 11. All right, on to the next question. All right, part two, number five. In the diagram below, AB is tangent, means it touches the circle, but doesn't go through. If AD is 8 centimeters, DC is 10 centimeters, what's the length of tangent AB? Well, let's mark what we have. So I'm going to put that A, uh, D, 8 centimeters right there. And D, C is going to be 10. And I want to know the length of tangent A, B. And we might have a little formula to help us out. Um, the formula that I, I taught you with was, um, it would be like T, I think I call it A and B. And so the formula looks like tangent squared 
equals outer times whole, so A plus B. So that's kind of how it looks. So if I fit it into this formula, that T is going to be the tangent. That's going to be um, the X there. So I'll say X squared. A is going to be the outer. So it's going to be 8. And then parentheses, um, 8 plus 10. So that's how you set it up. Uh, we got X squared equals 8. 8 plus 10 is 18. Uh, from there, we can use our calculator and help solve the rest. Well, 8 times 18 is 144, and then we'll want to square root it, so we'll get 12 as our answer. So a, the length of AB, tangent AB, is going to be 12 centimeters. Uh, on to the next question. Okay, in this question, it says if the perimeter of the triangle is 94, what's the value of x? Uh, a couple things in this problem we should assume, since it doesn't tell us, um, is that this uh, circle is tangent to these lines, so these lines won't actually go through. But what we do know then is that uh, that x value is going to be the same as the other side over here. And that 10 will get repeated right here. So I know that those two are going to be equal to each other. So I'll put a 10 there. And then I can, I can assume that the other two are going to both be 18. So that's how that works. And so now I can think about the perimeter because I know all the sides are going to be added up. So uh, if I know that I got these two X's and then I have these two 10's, and I have these two 18's, that, that adds up to all three sides of the triangle. So I can set that equal to my perimeter and figure it out. So I got 2X plus uh, 10 plus 10 is 20, 18 plus 18 is 36. So that's going to give me 56 equals 94. Um, take away the 56. Uh, it's going to be 34, 38. And that's going to be divided by 2. And so 38 divided by 2 is going to be 19. So I know the value of x should be 19. Um, and if you add off six of those up, hopefully you get 94 if I did that right. So 19 centimeters or whatever the units are. Uh, double check with your calculator if you need to. I, I didn't use a calculator on that one. All right, our last question on this video dealing with uh, angles and circles is dealing with an inscribed angle. This is going to be the question. In circle O, the measure of AC, arc AC, is 132 degrees. So that arc is 132. And the measure of arc AB is 79. And it wants to know what is the measure of angle BAC. So angle BAC is this angle over here. And that's going to be an inscribed angle. Inscribed angles are always going to be half the arc that it intercepts. So if I go through and, and find the arc that it opens up to, that arc is going to be BC. I can get that arc by, by noting that all three arcs add to 360 degrees around a circle. So I know that 79 plus 132 plus um, arc BC, those all equal 360, or those all add to 360. So I'm going to add these two together and subtract from 360 to get what that, that arc is. Um, so 79 plus 132, let's see. Uh, 7, 10, 11, that's going to be 211. Um, so if I take that away from 360, uh, the measure of arc BC is going to be, let's see, 260, 250, 249. See if I got that right. Okay, so then I know that if this is 249 degrees, 149. Oh my gosh, that was too big. Yeah, I know that's 149 degrees. Then I can figure out that arc measure or that angle measure. 
So divide by two. Um, so the measure of angle BAC is going to be half of that. Uh, again, inscribed angles are just, they're, they're always going to be half of the arc, half the arc. So just take that 149, divide by two. Um, the measure of angle BAC is 149 divided by two. Well, I know 150 divided by two is 75. So that should be 74.5 degrees. Double check me on my math for the calculator. Um, but I believe that is to be right. So that concludes this video on different uh, angles and segments and circles. The next video is going to cover all the trigonometric functions and the unit circle and, and all that. So stay tuned and we'll have two more videos in this uh, trigonometric functions and transformations of functions to follow. Thanks for watching.